Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Katarina and I hope you're all having a great day so far. I also hope you guys had a wonderful February. It's finally that time of the month again where we're going to reflect on all the products that we've been using. And side note, I apologize if you guys can hear the snow plower outside. If you can't tell, I'm very ready for spring right now, but in reality, we kind of have half a foot of snow outside right now, so I do apologize about that if you hear that in the background. Give this video a thumbs up if you're ready for a spring and warmer weather and bright colors and pastels. I'm all about it. But for today, I just wanted to share with you guys some of my favorite products, of course. And I have some new goodies to share with you guys, some fun products, and we're just going to jump on in. First, I'm going to start with a self-tanner because I feel like it's getting that time of the year again where we kind of start, you know, researching on self-tanners, which ones we're going to use, um, and trying to get some color into our skin. So I've been using the Million Dollar Tan. I use the mousse. So they also have a lotion and they also have a spray, but I'm using the mousse. And you guys, I am so obsessed with this stuff. If you you guys know me and you've followed my channel I have used the bare minerals faux tan I still like that but this is so much better it's much more convenient having the mousse formula it goes on a lot smoother and also the color is a little bit different bare so minerals one gave me a very very olive complexion which I love because I have naturally an olive complexion but it was almost like too green tinted sometimes and I didn't really notice that until I used this one Anyways, it also comes with some mitts, and I've been using these just for about a week and a half now, two weeks, and I have fallen that much in love. I have the one that you use on your face as well. Doesn't make me break out. You guys know I have sensitive skin, and that's awesome. Give this video a thumbs up. If you guys want to see like a full review and demo, I can definitely do that. But as for right now, if you guys want to buy Million Dollar Tan, I'll have a link for you down below. Next, let's just talk about some hair care really quick. This is the Batiste Dry Shampoo. I could never find this at grocery stores for some reason whenever I was in the hair aisle, so I would just get other dry shampoos. And I always would hear so many people rave about this, but I was just like, meh, dry shampoo is dry shampoo. Well, I found it finally in... Charlotte Russe. I got it and I have been loving it. I like the scent. This one is the Sassy Daring Wild scent. I really like it and it makes my hair feel so refreshed and soft but not crispy. So I really like this stuff. The Maybelline Rebel Bloom Spring Collection for 2015 is so on point. I love all of the shades. I need to pick up some more. My favorite shade is Lilac Flesh because as you guys see this is a brand new tube because this is the one that I'm working on right now, and I'm going through it pretty fast, and so I wanted to pick up another one because I literally just wear this color all the time. I feel like it is so flattering. It actually would have looked really good with this blue today, but they are so creamy and smooth, and they're not as pigmented as the Vivids, but there's Lilac Flush right there if you guys want to see it. Um, I also have the shade Barely Bloomed, which is just like a really pretty nudie color. Peach Poppy, which is a beautiful kind of like soft neon coral, if that makes sense. And then Orchid Ecstasy, which is a deeper kind of berry color. The foundation I've been grabbing for every single day this month, except for like one or two days when I'm trying out other foundations, is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. You guys know I have oily skin, and I actually picked up two different shades. The one that fits me best is 220, but now that I'm getting a little bit tanner, I like to use 228 as well, which is soft tan. You guys, I love this foundation. I do have a full review and demo if you guys want to see it being applied to the skin. I'll link that video down below. Um, it is also what I'm wearing right now, though, and I just have fallen in love with it. I had always wanted to try the original Fit Me foundation when it first came out a long time ago, but I just knew with my oily skin that just wasn't smart. It wasn't going to work. So when they came out with the matte formula, I was so happy and... I just freaking love this stuff. <laughs> Going along with that, this Fit Me Matte Poreless Powder. I didn't really expect to love it as much as I do. I kind of just got it because I was like, well, I'm getting the foundation. Might as well get the powder, see how they work together. But I really like it. It is finely milled, really finely milled, actually. It adds a tiny bit of coverage. I don't know why I'm swatching it. You're not going to be able to see it. It adds a tiny bit of coverage, but it really, really does help fill in those pores, especially right around here. That's where I get those pores. And it mattifies the skin beautifully. It doesn't look cakey on the skin, on my skin at least. And I just really like it. I got this in the shade 220, which matched the first foundation there. I have gone back to the Rimmel Fix and Perfect Pro Primer. For a while, you guys know, I was using the Baby Skin Primer by Maybelline. And I loved it. It's an awesome primer. I still love it. But you guys know me. Once I use a product up a couple times and I keep repurchasing it, I want to, you know, venture out and experience some new things. Or in this case, try something that I've tried before and I knew I love. Trying this after the Maybelline baby skin almost makes the baby skin one feel greasy. This feels so hydrating and moisturizing and amazing on the skin. I I don't see myself now going back to the baby skin. 
Um, and it claims that it's going to smooth, resurface, brighten, mattify, and protect. So it's like a five-in-one primer. It is very affordable. You guys can get this at the drugstore, and I love it. This little guy is kind of a random thing. This is the Flower Beauty Secret Service Cover-Up Concealer. To be honest with you guys, I picked this up because it was on clearance at Walmart. It was on clearance for like $2.80 or something like that, and I've always been curious about the Flower Beauty line, and I just kind of never went over there because I wasn't familiar with it, and they're kind of pricey for the drugstore, but it was on clearance, so I was like, okay. I think it was on clearance because of the shade selection. They only had this shade, which is CU3, which is actually really light for my skin tone. I'll show you guys. It's right there. But holy smokes, you guys, I have fallen in love with this concealer. You guys know I'm like a concealer freak. I love concealers and foundations. I have really dark circles under my eyes. So I'm always trying out new concealers. And I love Maybelline's lines of concealers like the Fit Me, um, the Instant Ager Winder. I love NYX Concealer, the Maybelline Dream Lumi. I just really like concealer. This one has got to be the most hydrating concealer I have tried in such a long time. The only one that I think was just as hydrating was the, the CoverGirl Simply Ages Concealer, which they discontinued, which I'm really sad about. I actually really like that I got such a light shade, and I just love it. I, I really think this is going to be my new concealer. If you guys want to see it being applied, it is what I have on my face right now, but if you want to see it being applied, check out my previous video. I have applied there, and actually like my last four or five videos when I'm doing makeup tutorials or get ready with me's, I'm using this concealer, and you guys can see the dramatic difference that it does. Going along with that is also the Flower Beauty. This is the Shine On Lip Gloss. This is also on clearance, you guys. This was like $3 or something, and it has quickly become one of my favorite. It's like a raspberry red, and it is stunning. I wore this in my last video. Um, here it is swatched. Really pigmented as well. I love this stuff. It is so creamy. It's not sticky on the lips, and it's just such a beautiful rich raspberry red. I just love it. City Color Cosmetics Brushes. This is the first brush set that they have come out with. This brush set retails for $24.99. It's on sale right now for $24.99 as opposed to like $32. And you get 15 brushes in this faux leather case. They remind me a lot of the Real Techniques brushes, um, which are already affordable, but if you break it down, these are even more affordable than that. Also, I wanted to let you guys know, if you wanted to purchase these or anything from City Color Cosmetics, I'll have a coupon code listed down below um, for 10% off your purchase. And I'll also leave it right here. The coupon code is just Katarina with a capital C. So if you guys want to try some fun stuff out, there's a coupon code for you guys. And I've been using these brushes nonstop, and I love them. Last thing I wanted to mention is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. I've been using this in like every single video, guys. And this is what it looks like. It is just the original one that they came out with, um, which I think is like the light to medium now. My favorite color to use is this banana shade right in the middle here. And then all these three bronzers. It's just very creamy. I actually put up a whole review and tutorial using this if you guys want to check that out too. I'll link it down below. But I love it. Let me know if you guys have gotten your hands on the cream contour that she released. Because I was thinking about trying it, but I'm not sure because I already have so many products to contour with that I just don't know if it'll be worth it. So let me know down below because I'm curious. Alright you guys, that concludes my favorites. I hope you enjoyed this video and please let me know what your favorite products were this month. You guys know I'm always looking to try some new products. And give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and like favorites videos. Also, make sure to subscribe to my channel, that way you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye!